What's up college football fans? Welcome to the QB Spotlight video and today we're going to talk about Texas A&M quarterback Haynes King as it's being reported that he has been named the starting quarterback and, and as of the recording of this video I haven't seen like an official release or statement from Jimbo or A&M but we'll just go off the word of what everyone is saying. So I want to take a few minutes to talk about what that means for the Aggies and, and potentially why he was named the starting quarterback. And we're not going to dive into necessarily all his uh, characteristics of a quarterback. We've done plenty of film breakdowns over King and over the other guys uh, in the past. So if you're interested in that, please go check out some of the older videos. But I think ultimately this is a good sign uh, for AM that King won the starting job, right? We've talked about before that he has potentially the highest ceiling, him with the incoming freshman, uh, but also maybe the lowest floor. And we've talked about um, Max Johnson having the highest floor, probably probably the lowest ceiling. So to me, this tells me that King demonstrated his ability consistently over practice, uh, and so Jimbo was trusting that, right? Like like big, Jimbo's biggest thing is this trust, especially within his offense. So to me, it probably showed me that, or showed he King probably showed the coaching staff that he was playing up to his ability and his potential consistently, right? So I think that's a good sign for A and M moving forward because I think King, if he's playing up to his potential and he's playing uh, with, with his high upside, that it's going to give AM a chance to to win those closer games that maybe they wouldn't have that chance if King wasn't you know playing to his potential. So I think that comes into play. And also think, like we talked about, very high ceiling, very high upside, like we've talked about in the previous videos, strong arm, good runner, right? But also I think it comes down to his experience, uh, especially in Jimbo's offense, which we, again, we've talked about before in the past. It's kind of a complex offense. He asked the quarterback to do a lot. And so with King being, what, this is his third year in the system. I know he's only had a few starts, so it's not like he has a ton of game experience, but he still has experience within the system, right? And Jimbo asked his quarterbacks to not necessarily, um, they don't necessarily scheme guys open a lot. He, he, he asked his quarterbacks to make a lot of Sunday type throws throws, throwing your guys open, hitting your guys in stride, right? Uh, that's kind of the scheme that he that he has as offensive play caller. And, and over the past few years, we have seen some more kind of a schematical plays, if you will. Excuse me, I don't even know if schematical is a word, but we have seen Jimbo scheme open some guys a bit more. But he needs to trust your quarterback. You need to have experience. And so King has that experience within the offense, the same terminology, right? So I think that's another uh, probably reason why um, King was named the starting quarterback. And then, of course, I think his, his running ability separates him from the other guys as well. Weekman's obviously a good athlete, the incoming freshman. Max Johnson's a deceivingly good athlete as well. But Haynes King is is, is probably on another level as far as athleticism goes. I, I believe he was in that four or five-ish range in high school as far as his 40 time goes, which is pretty elite speed, uh, especially for a quarterback. So I think that just gives you another another element. And as we've seen in these videos that we're kind of watching right now, uh, I know some of the some of the videos are showing his, his throwing ability, and then some are throwing showing. Excuse me, some are showing. I can't talk his running ability. So I think when you combine all his upside, his ability, um, and then you combine that with the experience that he has in the system, even though, again, it's not a lot of game reps. At least there is some game reps, and he has experience, though, within the whole system, being on campus. This is his third year learning Jimbo's terminology, and then you combine just the running ability that he has, and that's probably what has separated him uh, from the other guys. Now, the other guys, what that means for Johnson and, and Connor Wigman, Wigman, of course, being a freshman, he's got time to learn and grow. He's definitely the future. We all know how high Jimbo is on him. Uh, and Max Johnson, I think you want to have just, just a solid, solid backup option. Because at the same time, even though King was named the starter right now, and we talked about you know why he was named the starter and what that means, that doesn't mean Johnson's not going to see playing time at some point this season uh, for, for numerous you know, different reasons why. And the fact that he has so many SEC game experience and, and that he's played in some big games and he's done so successfully should give AM fans uh, some comfort. Because say if King struggles and you put in Johnson and Johnson does well, great. But best case scenario, King does great, King stays healthy, stays healthy, and you have a really, really good backup option of Max Johnson who has had a ton of SEC experience and you can, you know, be re you can rely on him. Johnson would probably start on um, I don't know if half the teams in the SEC is fair to say. That might be too high. But he would start on several other SEC teams and a lot of other big Power 5 teams in the country right now. So that's very comforting, right? Uh, so again, I think Anum's in a great position overall as far as quarterback depth goes. But I think King winning this job is ultimately a good sign for the program. And admittedly, I was leaning towards Max Johnson. I think I probably said it on some videos in the past. I just thought he would start off the season just because, you know, he'd... He, he, he's reliable 
uh, he has that high floor that we talked about. Uh, so I was wrong there. But again, I think it's a good sign that King ended up winning the starting job, unless we're completely wrong, unless Jimbo comes out and says something else. But uh, I think it's being reported by guys and, 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 and groups and organizations a lot smarter than, than, than me that, uh, that King is the starting quarterback. So again, uh, it's exciting. Week one is less than, or game one is less than a week from today, today being Sunday. Uh, so we'll see, you know, what, what, what happens with this quarterback position. But as of now, King is the starting quarterback, and these are just kind of our reasons why. The upside, the experience, and then the running and athletic ability that kind of separates him from the other quarterbacks in the competition. But I want to hear from you a fans. What do you think about King being the starting quarterback? I, I, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before it's official and named, right? But let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are overall, uh, your thoughts on the other quarterbacks, and you know we'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video. And again, if you like this video and quarterback content, you know, usually we do breakdowns, so just consider subscribing to the channel and liking the channel. Uh, as far as a &M fan goes, a &M fans go, we'll be doing kind of SEC breakdowns every week. Um, and, you know, depending on the game, uh, the a the and quarterback breakdown may be kind of the feature of the week. And we'll take some time and dive into the film of the defense as well as what the quarterback needs to do. But again, like the video, subscribe. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the whole quarterback situation and King being the starting quarterback. And we'll see you next time.